I'm Michelle with Birdie Bloom and this video is going to be a bit of a rehab video. I'm also going to talk a little bit about these little bags, um, but I'm going to tell you uh, how I rehab these little cases. And we've got some skinny cases and that is style number uh, 7170, these little skinny cases. And then we've got this chunky case here. It's a little thicker and this is style number 7165 okay so these are all from different years and so the leathers are different um, these cases are not going to tell you where they're made they're just gonna have a little coach stamp in the corner as such um, the hardware is pretty it's typical, it's gonna have this brass zipper and this type of pull, I don't know what you call it, but and if you're lucky, get your little hang tag along with it. And inside, you're gonna have your lining, which is really cleanable actually. So um, yeah, let's talk about it a little bit. You know, if you buy these already clean, ready to go, you're probably gonna spend as much as you'll spend on a bag. Um, not every bag, but you're gonna spend some money on it. They aren't the easiest thing to clean, but they are cleanable. So when you see one that is like disgusting looking, um, I'll show, insert a picture here. Um, you see that, just know that there's actually a potential to get that looking a lot better. So, um, yeah, the picture that I just showed is actually this bag. So let's open it up and see what it looks like now. Ta-da! It doesn't look anything like it did. It is really clean. Is it perfect? No. I'm trying to think. There's definitely got to be some sort of stain in here still. But, I mean, this case was used as a makeup bag, for sure. That was gross. But, yeah, it's... It's awesome now. It's uh, just it's such a great little bag. I think these bags represent the epitome as um, of what vintage coach bags are, which is just high quality, wonderful bags. Because you'll see one of these bags and you see that it was used and used heavily. So obviously they put a whole bunch of stuff in there. That stuff got all over the place. They probably put it in another bag. It got banged around. And look at it. I mean, just an awesome little bag. Love little bags like this. So. Yeah, how do I get them looking clean like this? Well, there's probably a lot of techniques. I'll show you a couple other ones. I'll show you a before picture of this one. This is a little bottle green skinny case. Um, before picture, and then this is what this one looks like. And if you look closely, this, this never did go all the way away. This uh, discoloration here along the top, but it's much more faded, and the case is actually clean now because it definitely wasn't when I got it, right? So you can feel comfortable using it. Um, and then this one wasn't too bad to start out with. I think this is probably actually a newer one. This is probably a 2000 when I compare the uh, coach uh, tag here to others. Can't say for sure, but I need to clean the hardware up a little bit more on this one. But um, it wasn't too bad to begin with. And I'll probably insert a little side-by-side -side picture of before and after. You can see a slight difference, but. All right, so what do I do? Um, Dawn dish soap. So the first things first, I try to turn them inside out. Um, You're gonna to wanna to clean them inside out, but then also clean them when they're turned back, okay? Because you're gonna have crevices that um, kinda of get uh, hidden when it's inside out and vice versa. So uh, inside out, I scrub, scrub, scrub with Dodger soap and rinse, right? And then, here I'll show you a picture of what a bag, I'll show you a picture of what this bag, this like really gross bag, what it looked like after just Dawn dish soap. So much better, right? But still not great. So then you come in with your awesome. Um, it's Ellie's totally awesome. 
I know this isn't available in all countries. I know it's highly marked up if purchased in another country, like say off of Amazon. I think I've, someone's told me that they pay $15 for this. It's a dollar at the dollar store here in the United States. It's not always there, it sells out. People use this stuff for a lot of different things. So if you haven't been introduced to Awesome, I highly recommend it. It is potent, um, doesn't really bother me much. But if I am using this and I'm using it around leather, which you can't really avoid not using it around leather here, I make sure that I'm rinsing and I'm rinsing quickly. So I spray this on and I use a toothbrush or another type of brush and I'm like looking to get suds and I just scrub, scrub, scrub in an area and then I rinse off and then I keep on doing that for the entire bag. And that really lightens it up. It really helps to remove stains. It's great. So that's it. That's what you got. These are ready to go and beautiful. Um, highly useful bags in my opinion. I love a bag that organizes in a large bag, right? Love them. So yeah, get one cheaper and do the work and clean it yourself. Easy peasy. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more, um, more videos. I like to do videos on uh, rehab and vintage coach rehab. And also I like to talk about maybe vintage coach bags that aren't really talked about. Do some comparisons. I have one coming up. Um, so subscribe if you want to get that notification. Okay. Thanks. Bye-bye.